TV. That's Annika. Oh, I don't want to fucking see the forecast. Fuck the forecast. You still asleep, dude? Those of you who are sleepy, you should leave him alone. Is there any new food in the fridge? No, I got you. Damn. Alright. I'm leaving then. Been promised to the rumor. Turn to your room. Not yet. Because I need to do this. I forgot to save. I need to save. So we have to go into the midnight channel. So. Who knows what's going to happen here. Right now, I made a promise. Do you room watch, watch Midnight Channel? Yes. Alright. Let's do this. What the hell? Can't hear it raining outside. It's almost midnight. Your soulmate appears if you look into a TV on a rainy night. Could she a story be true? Nope. Have to stay quiet again. Lights! Oh shit. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou art the one who opens the door. Did I just have a seizure? That's gonna leave a fingerprint, dude. Yeah, it's always a good idea when there's a portal to stick your whole hand in it. Oh shit! What do I do? <laughs> Are you okay? Did I wake you up? I'm sorry. I heard a really loud noise. Must have just been the thunder. Well, good night. Nanako seems to have returned to her room. Good. I have shit to do here. What just happened? You decide to talk about it with the others tomorrow. I will. Seems shit just hit the fan. What the hell? Hello everyone, my name is Kimiko Sofui. Sofui. Yeah. And I don't know how much... Uh, and I don't know how much you know about world history, but I'm an expert. First, a little bit about me. I love to use my dowser and look for lost items, and there's nothing quite like a romance. In fact, world history is a magnificent romance. History is like a river. It was born in the past and flows ever forward. Hope we can all enjoy the, prof the profundity of history together. Ho, ho, ho. Since this is my first lecture, I'll start with an easy question. Our right, transferee, Mr. Nye, please stand up. Ah, oh, I should have been Slim Shady. Please stand up. Please stand. When did AD, in other words, Anno Domini, begin? Um. Shit. Not when humans were born. Yes. Give the answer you think is correct. Ah, so you seem to understand this well. And does anyone know what BC stands for? Oh, I'll just tell you. For Christ or the years before Christ was born. This is, of course, the way we count our years today, and it wasn't adopted in Western Europe until the 15th century. Ho, ho, ho. It was around that time that there were many religious wars and power shifts occurring. Anyhow, the world's beliefs have been in a never flowing tide ever since humanity began to emphasize religion. Most holidays related to religion, you know. If you do some research, you may find some interesting facts. But regardless of the culture or the tradition, the tide decides who will survive in the present and the future. And those survivors ensure that there will 
is passed down to the next generation. But now it's time to start from the beginning. Let's take a look at the origin of civilization. Get the correct answer! Your knowledge has increased. Hell yeah! Alright. What's up with the body being hung upside down? It's so freaky. Are you still talking about it? Is it supposed to be like mimicking an execution? It's messed up. You don't say. My senpai told me it was a third year named Saki who found the body. Was her? I thought so. Da -da -da. Yo. Um. What's up? It's a. Uh, it's not really that important, but. Well, yesterday on TV, I. Uh... Yeah, we should talk about it. <laughs> I did the same thing. Oh, uh, you never mind. Look, I'll tell you later. <laughs> Yosuke, did you hear the rumor? Saki Senpai is supposedly the one who discovered that body. I wonder if that's why she looked so down. She doesn't seem to be at school today either. Huh? Hey, Yukiko, are you helping out at the inn today too? Things are really out of hand right now. I'm sorry. It's okay, we'll hook up another day. Is it just me or does we'll go to your inn. seem really <laughs> stressed out today? <laughs> well, we'll, we'll rent a room for your inn. And then I'll rent a room from your inn. Yeah. That was... I gotta work on I that. Guess they're running her Hold on, I got a whole hell of a lot of time to work on that, alright? Don't worry about it. By the way, did you see it last night? Kind of. Huh? Uh, well, what about you? I did. I seriously saw a girl. Uh-huh. But my soulmate's a girl? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I couldn't quite tell who it was, but it was a girl for sure. <laughs> Her hair was brown, about shoulder length, but she was wearing our school uniform and... Hey, I think that's the same person I saw. I couldn't make out that much detail, though. The image I saw was much blurrier. Wait, so you saw it too? And we saw the same girl? Does that mean we have the same soulmate? That's awkward. How should I know? <laughs> How about you? Did you see it? Told them about what happened last night. It sounds like we all saw the same Did person. I tell them about being sucked into the fucking TV? Weird voices aside, what was that about getting sucked into your TV? Were you that tired last night? You must have just fallen asleep in front of your TV. No. That'd be one interesting dream, though. I went through it. I like the part where you got stuck because your TV was too small. That's pretty realistic. Well, if it had been bigger, then... Oh, that reminds me. Our family's been talking about buying a bigger TV. Wow. Oh, yeah? Well, flat screen TVs are definitely in these days. Want to go check them out on the way back? We're beefing up our electronics department this month. Oh, definitely. My parents don't know anything about electronics, and I've just got to see my kung fu movies on the big screen. What the? What the hell? <laughs> We've got some pretty big ones in stock. I bet they'd be big enough for you to fit into. <laughs> I don't believe you at all. You decided to go to Junez with the others. Alright. Junez, electronics department. Wow, this is huge! And holy crap, it's expensive. Who buys something like this? I don't know. Rich folks? <laughs> Honestly, not many people shop for TVs here. That's why we don't have clerks around. Not worth trying then, I guess. Well, at least looking's free. <laughs> nope, can't get in. Figures. Jackasses. <laughs> this proves it. It was all just a dream. Shove them over. Let's go in. Besides, these flat screen TVs are so thin, you just end up on the other side. 
Ah, what am I saying? So, Chia, what kind of TV are you guys in the market for? Oh, no, they said they wanted one that's cheap. You got any suggestions? <clears throat> well, miss, hmm. might I suggest this one over here? It's the newest model just released this spring. What? Well, that's not cheap at all. There's way too many zeros. I should have asked what you meant by cheap right off the bat. You've got connections, right? Come on, hook me up. No, I can't do that. Hey, how about this one over here? It's a display unit. It's a little old, but... Oh, I'm gonna try again. I'm trying again. With a TV this big, you really might be able to go inside. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm freaking out over here. Oh, yeah. What kind of TV do you... He's like, oh, shit, son! Huh? Something wrong, Yusuke? Is his arm in the TV? Whoa. Uh, is that some kind of new model? L like, with a new function? <laughs> Hell no! <laughs> Hell no! Hey, dude! You gotta be kidding me! Did you really stick your hand through the screen? <laughs> oh man, this is for real. That's some magic trick, man. So how's it work, huh? What's the magician's secret? I don't, jackass! Although we're staring at you, astonished. You might be able to put in more than just your arm. Don't do it. Get stuck. Ah, dude, why you put your head through there? Hey, don't do that. What are you doing? Oh my god. Now I'm just showing off. There's an empty space inside. You tell them that. What do you mean inside? What do you mean empty space? <laughs> it seems very spacious in here. Ah, oh, he's gonna go through, isn't he? Spacious. <laughs> I mean, what's going on? Old crap. I think this is all too much for my bladder. What the? Are you gonna pee your pants? <laughs> I've been holding it in all day. I haven't had a chance to. Ah, oh, dude. I can't hold it anymore. <laughs> Shit, customers, they're coming. What? But We've got a guy half stuck in a TV here. <laughs> yeah. what, what are we gonna do? Pull me out, jackass! <laughs> no! Look, wait! Whoa! <laughs> they didn't think to pull me out. They just started running around. All right. Oh shit! Okay, that's trippy. So, uh, we're still alive, right? Uh, are you guys okay? Your understanding has increased. Okay, that's a new one. I think my butt's cracked now. Dumbass. Of course it is! Whoa. Well, what now? Did you wet your pants? <laughs> no, stupid. Look around. Okay. Is this a, a studio? All this fog? Or is it smoke? There's no place like this in Inaba, is there? Hell no. But man, this place is huge. What are we gonna do? Uh, let's look around. Huh? But, but... Look, we need to get home and uh, let's look around. Huh? There's not really a way to get out, so let's peek around. Wait a minute. Which way did we come in from? 
I don't see a way in or out. What? That can't be right. How could that be? I don't know. Don't ask me. I can't take this anymore. I want to go home. Chill the fuck out. Okay, so how? Uh, okay. Let's calm down. Let's calm down. First things first. Let's calm down. Y you're right. Okay. Okay. Figure our shit out. Let's calm down and think about this. Alright. So we need to find a way out. Is there really a way out of here? Well, there better be. We got in. So we must be able to get out somehow. Well, that's true, but... If there's no exit, we're trapped, so let's cross our fingers and look around. Agreed. Let's take a peek around here. Like that, that looks legit. Kind, kind, kind of not really. What is this place? It feels different from where we were before. It looks like we're in some kind of building, but... Damn, this fog's so thick I can hardly see. Are you sure we're not wandering farther away? I can't be positive, but we've got to trust our instinct a little. Pretty much. I know, but... Seems that there's no choice for now but to continue onward. Okay, you better get going here. Is it me or is the fog lighter here? Could we're inside. No service. What a surprise. Can't you guys slow down a little? It's hard enough to see where you're going. <gasps> what the? Whoa, okay. It's a dead end. There's no exit keeps getting creepier and creepier the further we go. Uh, I can't hold it any longer. Pee in the corner. Just pee in the corner. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Yosuke, what are you doing? Just gotta go pee, damn it. I gotta let it out before I piss my pants. <laughs> You're going here? Oh, you have got to be kidding. <laughs> Deal with it. A man's gotta pee, he's gotta pee. Turn around, I can't go if everyone's watching. I can't do it. It's all your fault if my bladder bursts. Like I care. Wow. <laughs> Anyways, what's with this room? Check out these posters. Their faces are all cut out. Somebody must really hate this person. There's also kind of a noose in the middle of the room. Dude, this chair and rope, that kind of arrangement is never good. No kidding. It's tied in a noose. Is this a scarf? Huh. Come on, let's go back to where we came from and, and look somewhere else for an exit. Yeah, that sounds like a pretty damn good plan. Hey, I think I've seen that poster before. Who cares? Let's go. I am sick of this place. And I'm not feeling so good. Now that you mention it, me too. Your body does feel heavy. Could it be due to this place is oppressive atmosphere? Alright, let's go back. I'm seriously starting to feel sick. Mystery. Bull Nye, the private eye. Whew. We finally made it back here. Wait, what's that? There's something over there. <laughs> what is this thing? A, a monkey? A bear? What in the world? Let's fight it. That's what I want to know. Who are you guys? <gasps> it talked! A 
Uh, what are you? You you want to fight? <sighs> Don't yell at me like that. Bear is cowering in fear. Maybe it'd be better to ask him nicely. Um, what is this place? That's a good question to ask. This place is what it is. It doesn't have a name. It's where I live. You live here? If I was you guys, I'd hurry back to the other side. How'd we get back? Someone's been throwing people in here. It's a big headache. Huh? Throwing people in? What are you talking about? I don't know who's doing it. I just want them to think before they go doing things like that. <laughs> hey, what's your problem? What gives you the right to yell at us like that? What are you? Where are we? What the heck's going on here? Don't yell at it like that. I already told you. Anyways, you should hurry back. What it comes down to is, you want us to get out of here, right? Well, so do we. We just don't know how, damn it. Uh, that's why I'm saying I'll let you out. Like I keep saying, we don't know where the. He's gonna is. lead us to the goddamn exit. Wait, what? I turn into a bunch of TVs. Well, where did these TVs come from? Okay, now go, go, get out of here. I'm a busy bear. What's going on now? Whoa, hey, what, what are you doing? S stop pushing. Asshole. Oh, shit. Trip time. That is so goddamn trippy. Huh? Is this? Did we make it back? We better go pee now, dude. Attention shoppers. Our daily limited time sale will now begin at the side dish area on the first floor. Why not try the delicious fresh produce Juness picked for you this morning as your side dish for dinner tonight? All ages are invited to take advantage of this incredible bargain. Crap, it's already that late? <sighs> Looks like we were in there for quite a while. That's right. Now I remember where I saw that poster before. Look over there. That's the poster we saw. What's up now? That poster? Hey, you're right. They're the same. I, I couldn't tell before without the face, but it was Miss Suzu Hiragi. She's been all over the news lately. Something about her husband having an affair with that announcer lady who died the other day. Hey, so does that mean that weird room we saw? Could it be related to that Yamano lady's death? Now that I think about it. There was that creepy noose hanging from the ceiling. Yeah, stop. No more. We gotta stop talking about this. I'm gonna wipe what happened today from my brain. I don't think my poor heart can take anymore. Yeah, yeah, good plan. I'm feeling a chill too. Let's go home. I wanna lie down and rest. Yeah, good plan. Good plan. You know, that, that yeah, good plan. I agree with all said plans. What's up? Hey, welcome home. Yeah, <laughs> still feel sluggish. Tired as balls. Um, well, I doubt you'd know. But have you heard anything about a student named Saki Konishi? Um, she wasn't at school today. Oh, I see. Well, to be honest, we got a call from her family. She's disappeared. Oh, shit! We've got people looking for her, but she hasn't been found yet. Oh, work just keeps piling up. And now... More on the case still casting a shadow over the foggy town of Inaba. 
Not long ago, television announcer Mayumi Yamano was found dead in the small town. Up until now, her whereabouts prior to her death had been unknown. But the police investigation has found that she had been staying in the region's famous Amagi Inn. <clears throat> the Amagi Inn, it's the inn that Yukiko's family runs. She had apparently been staying there alone. Perhaps she was taking a vacation to recover from her ordeal? Oh yes, the Amagi Inn. Their hot springs are first rate. The manager's teenage daughter also works there, and it's rumored that she'll take over the inn this spring. If that happens, she'll be one of the youngest managers on record. I should book another trip there. Mm-hmm. Uh, I see. <laughs> Moving along, it's right. time for the weather report. The rain has begun to subside. From now until morning, heavy fog warnings will be in effect in the Inaba region. Visibility will be severely reduced, so please be careful if you plan on driving in the area. News continues. Just before the announcer was found dead, she was apparently staying at the Yamagi Inn run by Yukiko's family. It seems the whereabouts of Saki Kanishi, who discovered the body, are unknown. Uh-oh. Is the ramen ready now? Give it some more time. <laughs> you sneeze, no shit. You feel a slight chill. Are you sick? You're probably still adjusting to the new environment. Nanako, could you get him some cold medicine? Sweet. Getting pills. You should get to bed after you take it. I agree. You know, 